بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایز یو نو دیٹ وی آر ڈسکسنگ اے ویری امپورٹنٹ موڈیول دیٹ از مورفولوجی اینڈ آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹیل یو دیٹ اف یو آر نیو ان اور چینل پلیز سبسکرائب دا چینل اینڈ پریس دا بیل آئیکن فار مور اپڈیٹس ابو لینگویج اینڈ لینگویسٹکس اینڈ ان دس سیریز دا سیریز اف مورفولوجی آئی ایم ڈیڈیکیٹنگ دس سیریز ٹو دا مدرز اف آل دا ورلڈ اینڈ آئی مسٹ سے to all of you that you must pray for first your mother and then my mother also and see the next concept in this video and in this video you will be able to know that how we can categorize how we can label how we can identify a word either the word is noun or the word is verb or the word is an adjective or the word is an ad, ad, ad verb and whatever the word are how we can identify this is the this part of word this type of word and this is the one portion within the morphology and it's the process of categorization of roots we have claimed that roots are the open class category we roots don't have any feature but roots have some categories But the point is that how we can categorize the roots. How we can say that this is the particular word that is the noun and this is the particular word that is the verb and this is the particular word that is an adjective. This is the problem. In the previous video I have told you that we have the one word that can be used the different way like bank, the building, the banking system and the other is the side of the river the one point of the river this is there are two types of roots but how we can distinguish the roots how we can say that this type of root is that and this type of root is that the next step is to categorize that roots means to assign the feature to the roots this is the second step within the morphology and see what is that process first of all you must know that roots don't have any grammatical feature there are no feature within the roots that operate within the world morphology roots have no grammatical feature because roots are the open class item so roots don't have they don't have any feature any grammatical what are the grammatical feature the grammatical feature are the number feature the case feature the person feature and they are the grammatical feature but the roots don't have any grammatical feature and if we suppose that if we claim that the roots are the free defining category roots don't have any category roots are the free existing item open class item after claiming that we must assume that roots don't have any grammatical feature if roots don't have any grammatical feature how we can say that this is the particular word that is noun and how we can say that this is the particular word that is the verb and this is the particular word that is the that is an adjective this is the problem and the solution of this problem categorization of the root if we want to categorize the roots we must impose or we must include some feature within the roots and how we can categorize the roots we have the simple solution a simple solution is that roots have categorized categorizer had category defining hats within the morphology and they are the noun small n the v the small v the a uh, the small a uh. and they are the category defining head and they tell us that this is the particular word that has become the noun that has become the verb and that categorizer has some grammatical features and that grammatical feature may vary within the language but roots are the same within the language roots don't have any grammatical feature the grammatical features are the properties of 
category defining heads and category defining heads combine with the roots and then makes a label over the over matching that category and we can say that this world has become the noun and this world has become the verb see roots are free category roots combine with a category defining functional heads what are the functional heads i have claimed that some head a noun small n v verb or a in adjective in adverb whatever we suppose if we say that this is the roots and this is the way we represent the roots and if we say this don't have any grammatical feature but if we insert this root within the derivation it must work for working it must have some operators and that operators are the category defining heads and category defining head combine with that root and then if this catch combine with n it will become the noun and this root are assign the feature of n before merging this root with the n it, this is the free category this is the roots this is the raw material of morphology when this category category function head merges with the cat it gives this cat the feature of nominal phrase and this will become the cat and if we say we want to make the world that is the verb we can say that if this categorizer head merges with another root it will become the v and if we say that this merges with the a uh, it will become an adjective but before merging with the categorizer head it is free it is the root it don't have any grammatical feature it is the free category <coughs> enemy the feature within the language we have the feature the person feature the number feature the case feature the gender feature these are the feature and these feature vary within the language but every noun every verb every adjective every adverb every category have some properties and that property is called that property are the grammatical feature but we claim that roots are the free class open class category you don't have any grammatical feature if we suppose that root don't have any grammatical feature but how roots process make process within the derivation when it enters within the morphology Morpho morphology or morphological process it means that root must combine some other category and that category must have some feature and that feature then will be encoded within the roots and that will become the noun the verb the adjective and whatever the functional category categorizer merging with the root it will become that particular category and if you want to know more about language and linguistics please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates thank you